A Viking city builder by the name of Land of the Vikings will count me in. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to our first look at Land of the Vikings. This is a demo for a game coming soon to Steam where we get to build our own Viking village and or uh, uh, kind of survive as Vikings. All the things like foraging for food and, of course, then uh, having our boats go out on uh, quests and adventures and whatnot to go fight the enemy and go on Viking raids and such. I've been playing a lot of Farthest Frontier on the channel, so it's good to get a uh, palate cleanse of this game, and it reminds me a bit already of Frozenheim uh, meets a little bit of, uh, well, Farthest Frontier, of course, because I've been playing it a million times, and maybe a little bit of Banished and some other games in there. So let me know what you think about the game down below in the comments section, and let's jump in to our first look at Land of the Vikings. Here we go. All right, I just found out that we can name our settlement, but also design a banner, which is pretty nice as well. We can adjust the size, and that also applies to our sail, our banner, and our shields, too. So that's pretty cool. All sorts of different colors and uh, secondary colors that we can add. Actually, pretty cool. Looks like some traditional uh, Viking lore symbols, and also some that are obviously uh, made up just for, just for fun. You know, oh, well, that, that, that there is truly traditional, I, I guess. Yogila Ul. All right, let's go ahead and uh, do a little bit of... I like the deer that I had before, so let's go with that one. We'll go with a blue deer and uh, maybe a white background, maybe gold. That's too Swedish. This too Finnish, but I think uh, we'll go with something maybe more like that. There, that's fine. All right, let's make it a little bit bigger, and that should be good. All right, uh, can we also name our settlement? Yes, we can. So uh, we'll go with Raptoria, and looks like we're locked to... A demo map and a normal difficulty for the demo so that's all right all right let's jump in now there will also be a little tutorial for this but we might just jump through a lot of it because of course it's basic day one stuff you may have seen from banished and I want to see as much as I can of this awesome demo slash tutorial let's go and here we are tutorial beginning welcome to the village thank you very much all right we have our preferences at the bottom uh, looks like things like logging and mining building and deconstruction and road building we have our orders for wood cutting, rocks, building, destruction, road. Yep, I could already tell what those were just by looking at them. Management tools on the left side, speed on the right side, and day at the top. All right, our first order then is to cut a tree and then order rock digging, which I imagine they mean stone mining, which of course is the pickaxe there. All right, let's take a look at things. Well, we got ourselves some berry bushes here. Very nice. Looks like we also have a uh, nice detail to the stone. Lots of trees around too. Ready and some big old paths here as we build in what looks to be a fjord. I see some large mountains in the background we might be able to mine and a gorgeous waterfront here. Islands and such maybe on this side or... Oh yeah, we're in the midst of a fjord here between the uh, all the rocks and such. I wonder if we could build in all these areas. This is kind of nice. Over here we have ourselves a beautiful river too. Ah, so we must be able to build up to and along all of these areas. Or something along those lines. Beautiful sounds for zooming out and going to other places. Wow, the trees actually having some snow on them based on their elevation. That's impressive. Um, or frost or whatnot. Now, back here is what I thought could be some possible mining areas for things like iron. Looks like the rocks are a little discolored, so it could be things like limestone, copper. We might be able to make bronze, you know, from tin that we could find, too. Looks like some of these rocks are discolored, too. So each of these could be different things to mine, perhaps coal and uh, other materials to build with, so that's good. So it's not just like, you know, a shoreline build, although it does certainly look beautiful. Hey, and even some little boats here. Very nice. All right, well, let's get started with what they're asking us to do then. Let's go ahead and cut down some trees. So this tool works kind of like a painting tool. You paint the bottom of the tree and the trunk then is indicated to cut down. It'll be the same for the rocks then, yeah. So we'll go ahead and do just that. Let's go ahead and select some trees to go. Now, I'm assuming we might need a lot to build with, since, of course, this is a city builder. We're going to need a lot of materials to start building our homes with, so let's start with those. And then we'll also start with rocks nearby the camp to clear it for building. Maybe back there. There we go. Okay, so assign a worker to carpenter and activate working in the carpenter. Ah! We don't have a carpenter here yet, so we have to assign. So I guess we'll assign John, John to be a carpenter, then he'll make scary movies for everybody. That'll keep him motivated, I think. Activate working in the carpenter. All right, so we also have to turn it on. Work status closed to open. Perfect. All right, so the carpenter, I'm assuming, will make planks. Yep, so it's something called wood to timber or logs to planks, that kind of thing. Very nice. Oh, it's the daylight looking. Looks like it's uh, 
noon or I'm not sure exactly how the time frame is going to come into play but we'll see all right have three wood 20 stone and 32 timber so that'll take us just a little bit of time but they are asking us now to build a market so let's go ahead and do that it's the button in the middle then ah okay so we have buildings for living storage food production C military has a training camp and a war dock aka long boats long ships oh man beautiful and then also decorations cool we can actually build bridges so we could build a bridge uh, along that river and they're showing us how to place things we can select things and then rotate as well we'll do that with the z, z key and the mouse keys okay so essentially like uh the oh i see this oh cool it actually snaps to a river so let's see how smart that is to actually do that Uh, looks like we might be able to build it. It says other building, but maybe we have to get the stone out of the way. Maybe we have to mine some of that. Although this is a pretty easy crossing. I like the detail here. Looks nice. So there could be trade caravans to come in, or perhaps invaders will come in that way. Something that remains to be seen. Okay, let's go ahead and build a marketplace. So under, uh, let's see, storage, we have marketplace here. Where food is stored and where villagers shop. It should be in every village. Silver is earned with every purchase. Okay, so the more things that we sell to people, the better. It looks like proximity is a thing, too, so I guess we'll just kind of build it in front of the longhouse, right in the middle. It looks like we have ourselves the longhouse and then residences on either side of that, and the carpenter on the far left side. Try to line this up as best I can. There we go. Alright, we'll give the orders for that to be built. Very nice. Very dark now. I don't understand the purpose of day-night cycle in this game particularly, uh, because, of course... It's more, I would say season is maybe a little bit more important, especially since we're gathering and also can um, maybe, well, hunt, of course, but then also um, perhaps the uh, maybe fishing will be different depending on where we fish. If this is uh, the ocean, of course, that'll be all right. But if we go to fish in the river or a lake nearby, that could change things as well as the seasons for gathering berries, which we did see over here earlier. So, all right, so the, um, yeah, the marketplace needs to be built. We now need to assign a builder. So let's see, builders one. Let's do, let's assign four people to build. And then once the person is done, we have to assign a marketer. So I guess <laughs> Vikings were already doing marketing back then. Wow, awesome. Two for once, discount days. Interesting to see the cows wandering around. We don't really seem to have a building to hold them. We have uh, poor houses here, which I'm assuming are uh, buildings that are just like a tier one shelter. Looks nice though for a building considered to be a poor house. Certainly. Sure as hell looks drafty with the massive um, <laughs> gaps in the logs. They better use some uh, materials to clean that up a little bit. But uh, it is nice, actually, to be able to see the lighting through the windows. That's one thing that I really liked about Farthest Frontier, but here it seems to be um, rather excessive. Although I guess you could see it, you know, it's a city builder, so you're probably going to be spending a lot of your time zoomed out rather than zooming in on the details of every building. You know, like no one's going to zoom inside the building. Well, except for me. Hey, there's our logo! Perfect, that looks purple and not blue. Well, I certainly did choose blue, but okay. Alright, so what do we got at top? We've got ourselves some wood and uh, timber. We've got stone. We've got dressed stone, a.k.a. Uh, maybe polished stone. Silver, which they mentioned is from making sails, and also meals, food. Uh, we better get ahead on doing some of that then. I'm sure that's the next thing is to sell that at the market. Whatever food we can get. Maybe we can do fishing. Wait a minute. These look like wells here. No, they're log storage and stone storage. So two little buildings that have roofs over them to store materials. Okay. Well, let's go with... Um, I'm going to go ahead and go with food because water is like basically nearby. But I don't know what we can do about food. Looks like it's based on a percentage. So we certainly want it to be green. Right now it's all red. But what calculates this? Is it the trees? Well, it gets a 62% next to the houses, but then also a 75% with the trees. And it looks like it's marking those white at the bottom, so I'm not sure exactly how that's actually... Well, ooh, 87%. Oh, 100%. Let's go over there with the uh, hundo productivity. We'll set that over there. It's a gatherer, after all. That's a little gatherer building to go gather fruit and nuts and berries and other things that are out there. Now, can we actually mark... Priorities. Let's see that. We can do that. Hey, a tree going down. Nice. Uh, let's see. Priority 
is yes now it is marked okay so we have four workers being told to gather uh, materials and bring them to the marketplace right away now we need to create more timber from that so let's assign some more people to work at the uh at the carpenter so all those logs can be immediately turned into timber is it a one-to-one -one? uh resources six and then okay there's a production limit that we can set there so once we've hit a max the building will tell us and then we can unassign those workers and put them somewhere else at least that's how I assume it'll work. Is that a cave up there? No. Looks like a... Well, it almost looked like a coal deposit, but upon closer inspection, it seems to just be a stone section there. Alright, daytime's coming soon. Uh, what can we do in the meantime? Uh, we need to assign a marketer next. Alright, well, we've made this building a top priority. What else can we construct? Uh, looks like a couple people are homeless. Maybe we better do that. What's the differences between these poor houses, though? They all seem to have the same material costs. Well, that's interesting. Oh, wait a minute. No. This one actually requires a bit more stone, but has less material costs. Uh, a structure that is can accommodate a single family. It consumes more fuel in the winter due to its bad conditions. So the first two are essentially the same, but just different design. And the third one is a poor house as well, but with better construction. I feel like they could probably... Um, somehow label these different or perhaps you could build the poor house then upgrade it to like something in between and then upgrade further to good house rather than having to build a quality home from scratch would be cool if you could actually upgrade we have totems as well for Odin, Freya, Thor and Tyr and there's our herbalist hub which yeah villagers come to heal at but we'll probably need herbs from the um, gathering hut for that all right, let's go ahead and try to make another house here. Let's face it towards the other homes here. Now, how many people could live in this house? We'll build it and just see how more fuel efficient it can be in the winter. But that's good, because we need all those uh, logs to go towards uh, lumber in order to build our buildings. All right, <clears throat> marketplace is looking good now. Foundation is done. I think they did some construction on it. We have some materials, so they did something. So the carpenter is making not only planks, but it looks like he has almost uh, ample room to maybe make things for boats, maybe? I don't know, something along those lines. What do we have here? Population, average happiness is closer to good than bad, and fame, and then also defense points. Uh, defense points in the village can be increased by training new warriors or installing defense decorations. Warriors on missions are not included in the defense? Okay, yeah, of course. If they're away from home, they can't defend. Well, let's take a look at that. We can actually add decoration defenses. What would that be? Barriers? Poles, shields, stands, wood, target board, empty car, or wood car, empty car. Oh. Well, we can build palisades, but it's built as a decoration. Wall A, B, C. Looks like there's also a log door. Okay, so we can build walls here. But then also do all sorts of different types of decoration. That's an interesting place to put that. I would like to see the wall building as like a road tool. Where I click and drag and can build circular walls very easily that way. It could be done that way. Or perhaps put it under the military tab. Because I just don't see that as a decoration. Maybe for now, for the demo, that's the way it works. But yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and build a fishing dock. If we can do that, I'd like to. I'll build it by the boat so it looks cool. We'll build it all the way over there. It might be too far, but it's just aesthetic. And let's go ahead and put it on pause until other things are done. We're just blueprinting for now. I guess that's your makeshift blueprint mode is to build that uh, afterwards. Oh, I don't like this. Well, it looks like they're delivering materials to a building that has a lower priority. This is one of my concerns in a lot of construction building games like this where uh, you're building multiple buildings, you prioritize one building over others, yet other buildings still get those materials. And I, I really would like to see the option to maybe um, prioritize delivery of, of, a, uh, of materials for construction and then also the building itself. Oftentimes in these games, if this one does have a uh, way to see all the villagers, let's see what we got for jobs. Is there a way to check everybody's jobs here? Building ships work. Ah, oh, there it is. Yep. All right. Yep. Of course. Laborers and builders. I cannot tell you enough how impactful Banished was for doing that type of thing. We see it in a lot of games now. And sometimes we see it, for example, in Kingdoms and Castles, where it'll be instead of um, assigning workers jobs, you prioritize jobs, where you make things like, for example, 
um, farming at the very top, then second, logging, and then third, uh, orchards or something like that. But in these types of games, it's nice to be able to adjust precisely how many people will be working in a job and then also their productivity. And it, it just seems like a great new standard, just as you would see, you know, items being listed at the top of a menu. I think this job list or job board that you've seen in mini games like this is now standard just as much as it is to see how much gold you have or something along those lines. And it's also nice to see that uh, it kind of gives you more power over maximizing and minimizing um, effectiveness of different industries. Harder to do that in a city builder like, let's say, City Skylines, but much more effective in a game like uh, this or uh, even more challenging in like Workers and Resources, for example. Um, but yeah, I love these resource-based games. We're going to go ahead and cut down some more of those said resources. Hopefully these trees grow back. I have seen them grow back in Frozenheim before, and I would like to see uh, these trees grow back too. Do we have... Oh, I thought, <laughs> I thought these people were just little tree stumps growing. Okay. I wonder if they could be told to gather berries out here, just nearby. If I were starving and there was a berry bush nearby, I certainly would be uh, gathering berries. There's a little bit of the mining going on. Looks like they're doing a finishing move. Nice. Okay, very good. Well, we're four days into our adventure. Can't click on the Viking Longhouse for anything. I would like to see that do more something. So it looks like, yeah, materials are being delivered here, so it looked like stone and logs are being delivered. What about the uh, gather hut, too? Let's check. Oh, it looks pretty out here in the woods. Oh, look at that. Some flowers. A little more detail than I was expecting, honestly. I was expecting uh, to kind of see it just be plain grass and maybe some areas of, as you can see here, clearing. But this looks pretty good. Hard to see the detail until you're really zoomed in, but it, it looks pretty. Blowing in the wind, too. Nice. Okay, so as for food, we have literally nothing. So I can only imagine that the Vikings are crafty and resourceful enough to make their own food. Let's go ahead and speed up time to two. Getting a general feel for the game now to see how quickly construction projects are done. Again, I'm coming from playing Farthest Frontier for about an entire month every day for the last month, so I have no problem going this slow. But also, I want to make sure that uh, everything gets done too so we can see more of it. It is quickly that daytime goes by in this game too. And it does look like we're going from perhaps spring to summer and day and night. So night, day and night must indicate the passing of months, and then of course at the bottom is passing of seasons. Hmm. And there goes nighttime again. Now, if three, four people don't have a home, I hope these are all uh, people who are related, so that way they can... Uh... ...live in the same home. Oh, let's read the description of that house. Structure that can accommodate a single family. Okay. So if we want to expand our town, we should probably build more good houses. There's also a tavern, too. A place where people stop to rest when they're unhappy. Beer is consumed. So there must be a way to produce that. Let's take a look at uh, production of beer. Let's speed up time, too. Again. All right, we have ourselves a carpenter, which we built. The woodshed, which is fire... Oh, firewoods is it's produced from logs. Okay. Might want to plop that down, too, although... Doing that might distract everybody to deliver to new things, so I, I don't want to. I don't want to force them to deliver to new construction sites. Although it doesn't seem to be taking too many materials. It looks like everybody cut down all the trees I requested. Can we cut down trees from over here? Now what's weird is my camera wouldn't let me leave from this area for just a moment. That was kind of strange. I thought for a moment it wouldn't let me gather resources from further away, but I think we'll do just that. That area is going to look hideous, but let's just hope that it grows back. All right, on to the next thing. Let's take a look at um, storages. Yeah, marketplace. Oh, a warehouse as well. Place where products such as leather, wool, and clothes are stored. Absolutely necessary in every village. Okay, if that's necessary, we're going to have to build that too. Ah, there we go. The marketplace is getting more complete. Picking up the pace now. Oh boy, does that look raggedy. Look at that. It's literally being built out of like some sort of a canvas. Ugh. That's not nice. I thought they would build out of, um, I don't know, like the shingles, like the uh, like the Viking longhouse. If it's absolutely necessary, I expected it to be a little nicer. This seems to have thatch on it. Look at all the jobs here. Brewer, fisherman, herdsman. Oh, okay, yep, so we can definitely get cattle. Uh, oh, we have somebody who... Uh, a pult pultier? 
Somebody who can deal with chickens, gatherers too, millers, herbalists. People of the sea on expeditions. Yep, so we can send our troops out on expeditions and go raid and invade other places. We probably wouldn't even see them. Uh, I'm assuming what will happen is the Viking longship will probably go out to uh, to see through this kind of like, um, almost like a river, but just kind of like a bay down out to the ocean. So that's kind of cool. All right, finally, on to our next objective, huh? All right, let's go ahead and get a marketeer assigned. All right, so we have white meat, bread, fish, fruits and vegetables, and meat. So uh, I'm assuming that's probably chi yeah, chicken and then cow and goat and deer from regular meat. All right, so that must be multiple food types. All right, uh, let's see. Decorate your village. Uh, connect roads to your buildings. Add at least 10 decorations and gather food. Build a gatherer's hut, assign a gatherer, and gather your first fruit. Oh, good. Well, way ahead of you then. Uh, let's go ahead and slow down time a little bit just to keep in daytime. Can I make a nice windy path? Let's see how the road building is. We have the ability to hold Z and make angles, so we can lock angles into place. Oh, yes, okay. We can also make pretty winding roads. Oh, it costs silver to do. Uh, well, I'm going to go ahead and just build it out to here then. Wow, the road is actually... Uh, it almost looks like cobblestone. Obviously made of just regular stone, but it looks more like a serious road out to the gatherer there. That's something I feel like I'd want to do at the very end when things are done. Maybe build a road through town like that a little later. Why right, they want us to place down decorations. Well, darn it, I'm tired of nighttime. Do we have any lights? What do we got? Barrels, boxes. Oh, Grand Torch, a fire pit. All right, let's build some torches here. There we go. We're supposed to put down ten of these things. All right, there's two. Let's do three, four. Oh, and this house is complete too. Wow, this looks like a damn uh, community center. This will be my house. Does it have our logo? It does, yep. And are we out of gold? No, we're good. I was going to say, do we have to make more sales in the marketplace? But no. We've got plenty of gold. There we go. Let's put some down by the market, I suppose. And let's put down some regular decorations, like boxes and things. Oops. Oh, can we move these? How does it work if you don't like something? Objective end to decorate your village. Oh, let's build something out here then. We'll just add a few boxes just to show how cool it can look. Box there. Bucket, perhaps. Cool. Well, that's neat. I would like to put all those items probably at the end of a dock, like a fishing dock, or especially our longboat, where we're building our... Actually, it'd be cool if there was some sort of a dry dock and then push them into the water. We'll see about that later. All right, uh, build a gather hut, assign gather. Go ahead and assign builders. Looks like we still have homeless. So let's keep uh, assigning homes for everybody. I guess we could build a few of them. And let's build some nicer homes. And we'll build it kind of like this way. If I uh, could build this town differently, I certainly would. I'd use stone. Get it? Okay. Anyway, let's go ahead and go with one more poor house. Maybe we'll build it over here on this side. Now, let's see if we can actually upgrade these homes. I would like to... Uh, it does seem like they have a completely different footprint, so yeah. This home is not only bigger, but also more efficient. So I guess you gain some maybe happiness, gain some fuel, so less fuel consumed in the winter at the loss of a little bit of space. All right, well, the gatherer's hut is done. Let's assign somebody to be a gatherer then. And we'll have to go gather fruit. I'm assuming they'll work automatically around them. Avantageous talents are speed and luck, yeah, I suppose. So they gather things like fruits and herbs. Okay, very nice. All right, well, that job's basically done. Just need to wait for it to happen. Uh, could we build a well? We could do that. Under food is a well. Oh, well, well, well. Unfortunately, it's going to be a little out of range for that new home we're building. But we can build more. Maybe there's a capacity of how many people can, uh, or how many homes can be positively impacted by a well. And it looks like that's an insta-build? No. Three logs and 25 stone. We'll still take construction. We'll still need to be constructed. All right, how are we doing on stone anyway? 40? We might need some more. Clear out all these things. There we go. 
All right, so, well, yeah, it's confirmed that there's going to be different maps then. It'll be interesting to see if there's a campaign here. This looks absolutely gorgeous. I've got to say, I'm quite impressed with the um, with the construction of the, the map here. Uh, some things are a little um, clunky where it looks, like, too perfect. You know what I mean? Like, that's a really solid, hard edge. But this is just a demo of a game coming soon. And for a first look, I'd say this is pretty impressive and <laughs> honestly quite refreshing to be able to see the same things of... You know, obviously, no matter who is the society you're trying to make a game about, everybody used firewood, everybody built shelters and things out of wood, everybody needed to gather and hunt, and those were some of the first things from skills over thousands of years. Try not to make our city look ugly by cutting down all the trees next to it, so uh, we will need firewood, though, to make it through the winter. Cooking, heating, perhaps crafting, also taking firewood. All right. Oh. Now we're on to the next thing. Let me just pause, uh, slow down for a second to do this. Uh, build a warehouse and assign a warehouse man. Build an herbalist hut, assign doctor, and find herbs. Okay. Good day to start a new task. All right, the herbalist hut. Or they call it the hub, but uh, I guess we'll just call it the hut. We'll call it the Jabba. Let's build the Jabba. Uh, so it looks like we can't build it too close. I'd like to build it over here, maybe. Somewhere near the marketplace, actually. Build it right here. I wonder if our bonuses for roads are actually movement speed. It seems like roads might not be as effective in a city, but maybe better between further away destinations that might be permanent. Like, for example, a mine that stretches way back into the hills, though maybe not permanent, would certainly last a lot longer than, uh, let's say, a... Uh, I don't know, like a temporary stone mine or something. And or... Oh, to our dock here. Yeah, we might be able to make a road back this way. Okay, uh, so we need to assign a doctor. So the herbalist will need to be built first. And then we need to build a warehouse. So a herbal hut and a doctor and a warehouse and a warehouse man. Uh, let's build that near the carpentry building. Maybe a lot of things will be made out of wood. So let's put that there. And actually, firewood could be stored here, too. So let's build it like this. We'll build that there. And then what was the building for cutting and making firewood? It was called the wood shed. All right, so this area will primarily work with the wood industry. So where do we store logs exactly? Maybe there eventually? We'll see. All right, let's speed up time again then. Everything's laid out, so now we just got to wait for construction to complete. Now, some people are still homeless, uh, so let's go ahead and give them a house, I suppose. I really, truly want to follow the tutorial and do things in their order, but I don't know. I can't I can't stand to see our people be homeless anymore. It's just, ah, uh, it's hurting me. Uh, it's like, ah, uh, I can tell. Also, somebody hasn't subscribed who's watching right now to win giveaways more in the Discord and or smash like button. Oh, pain. Oh, doctor, heal me. You know, that kind of thing. All right. More people coming on back to the city from the old boatyard. Looks like also... We cannot connect to a building, but let's just kind of goof around with the roadway here and see what it does. All right, so this will be like the outskirts of town. You can take a fork in the road, either go right to the uh, dock or left to the uh, gathering building. I'm assuming that cows that wander around in the map probably can be domesticated by the herdsmen. I'm seeing some trees grow back here, so it is confirmed that trees will grow back. There might not be a forestry building here. We might have to do things based on the forest kind of just regrowing after years. Or in this case, I guess it's just a matter of days, but... You know, that process has got to be sped up, otherwise you're going to lose, use all those materials. Oh, we're still gathering a lot of trees. We still have seven people on labors. We have no stone. That's being gobbled up, too. Alright, we have four builders. I think we should do, like, one builder and give everybody else a chance to go gather things. Woodcutters. Okay, we'll go down to... Actually, I think we can shut that off. Let's go ahead and put everybody on gathering now. we got plenty of planks for a bit. And plenty of uh, food and whatnot. 
Marketplace is also selling now, right? Things are zeroed, but I'm assuming that the gather is working. Let's go ahead and make another one. I don't want any problems. All right, we'll assign another person to gathering. Productivity is 100% there, and that seems to be all we can base it on. It doesn't seem to tell you variety of food, but I'm assuming if 100% productivity is good, then that then we're good. That seems to be where we're at. All right, so the home is going up first, the extra house. Perhaps these people can live together there. And, of course, we shut down the carpenter now. Oh, what's going on here? Hungry? Yep. And their health is going down, too. I don't want to get a fishing hut up, so that way we can sell fish and also berries. Well, the home is complete. Go ahead and make sure we finish the uh, dock instead. We're going to play things a little bit differently. Would be nice to give a general order, though, to go gather berries. I, I feel like any citizen would be able to, without much equipment at all, be able to go gather berries and fruits and such. You might need something a little bit more for fishing, but in this case, it seems to be rather easy. And another beautiful morning. Happiness is at 70%. Dropping a bit from the food problems, but I guess that's what you get when you're learning a game for the first time, too. Oh, this looks nice. Oh, and the water. Coming up upon the shore like that. That looks great. Great detail there. Some extra style points there for making a pretty nice looking beach. Looks great. Alright, so we found herbs now. Uh, that's probably from the gatherer. And now we're just going to finish off the dock so we can feed our people. Wow, look at all the stuff piled up there. Stones and logs. Ah, okay. So the timber, or the thing I was calling the planks, are actually large square beams. And the logs are typically, obviously, just logs. So it makes sense. Things for the logs for the dock. and Well, you'd probably want to use planks for that. But hey, there's a chicken too. So those people must actually go and gather them. The herdsmen and the uh, poultry. We'll just call them the, the chicken farmer. Chicken farmer is probably in charge of get, uh, capturing those guys and domesticating them and then putting them right into a coop, which is kind of cool. Now, I'm not sure if who is in charge of doing what, so let's go ahead and add a bunch more people as builders and see if that speeds up the building process. Every game's a little bit different as to who delivers, and I may have mentioned this, you know, materials to a construction site versus who does the building, and I really want there to be... Honestly, I feel like people could do both. I think you should have laborers and builders almost in the same tier. It always feels like it, you're always increasing the number of builders just to match the demand of buildings sometimes where, you know, I, I guess it is nice to have a hard separation because sometimes you just want a building to be built slow while you want other people to focus solely on gathering a ton of uh, wood and or stone for another project you may have. I see uh, now it's summer and autumn is coming soon. So we will see ourselves winter shortly. All right, so there's our warehouse, there's our fire uh, cutter, and this is, of course, our herbalist hub, a.k.a. hut. Let's assign somebody for fishing. Ooh, they actually have to go and make a... Wait, can they fish off the dock, or... Fishing boat free. Durability. Oh! Wait, did it spawn one of the boats from here to here? Oh, are we getting free boats? Let's go ahead and actually get two people fishing them right away. Oh, these two boats are damaged! Interesting. So this might be how we originally arrived to the settlement and we're using boats that we got here to then go fishing? But how would we get... How do we get another person to... Ah, we have no additional fishing boats available. A small pier in which four boats can be moored. Moored? It is the place where fish production takes place. But how? Do they have to go onto the boats? Can they fish off the dock? All right, well, I guess that we're rip. Now oh, they're sleeping. Might figure out what that is tomorrow. Remains to be seen, in other words. Uh, trees have been cut down. Will sprout again, unless construction is built in that area. Ah, okay, well, that confirms that. Thank you very much, voice in my head and or text on screen. Probably both. 
All right, well, let's keep cutting these down then so we can make more room for building. Okay, so we need to hire somebody to work at the warehouse. That's what we were told. Our last free person. Let's go ahead and bring builders down to maybe four. And we got two people who've automatically been assigned to the woodshed. Okay. Now, I'm no firewood cutting expert, but I would say that you might need to actually have, like, maybe a log there on top of that. But like, right now, they're just beating the crap out of that uh, that chopping block. But, uh, yeah, they need to put an uh, actual log there. That's a satisfying building, too, by the way. In every building where there's a woodcutter that has to, you know, takes wood and chops it, always, always beautiful to see. Bum, 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 bum. Wow, I like this music. All right, here comes some more people. Back and forth from the mining area at the bottom. Oh, now we can assign a doctor. Perfect. And we have our first little, uh, our first, um, I was going to say victim, but that is probably not the right word to use. Our first, um, co-payer. There we go. Yeah, that's uh, $1,400, man. All right, let's see. Explore transition to settle life in the tree of life. We have an upgrade path. Oh, I didn't even see that there. Interesting. Transition to settled life. Or bonuses to work 1% faster or 1% happier. Come on. 1%? All right, well, transition to settled life will give us farming options. So we can actually start building windmills. And Dutch breathing will intensify, which will power the mill. And we also have a brewery. That's great. Also beer. Good. Um, barley and... Oh, interesting. We can store wheat and barley separately. And have a farm field. So we can start farming. Excellent. And now that unlocked a bunch of new paths. Uh, we can dig too... We can dig too deep. What a weird ass... Way to put that. Alright. I'm just going to do what we're told. Okay. Let's build a field and start actual farming now. Uh, now, is fertility a thing in this game? Let's try to build over here a little bit. Away from the town. How big is the field exactly? Oh, we get to draw out the path. Interesting. Oh, that's cool. So we can actually make custom-sized fields. And or shapes, too. Which will fit perfectly into small spaces between buildings or areas that were up against rock or whatnot. That's nice. I like that. All right, let's do that then. Food, food, food and field. Then, well, with knowing that, instead of doing what we were going to do originally, building further away, let's build a little closer then. And let's try... Uh, so there's a little bush in the way there. What will happen? Let's build this an odd shape just to, uh, just to do it. Ah, this really reminds me of building fields in Austria as well. Oh, that's cool. That really works nice. Although I didn't uh, build it right. Yeah, the angle's wrong, I agree. Oh, right-click deletes it, and then... How do we snap? Boom. Oh, that's great. Love that. I don't think that should cost any silver to do. I feel like that should just take... Maybe... Wood to do for the fencing? Don't want critters getting in there. Deer, especially. Alright, uh, let's see. So, order wheat production. Okay. We can grow wheat or barley. We'll go with wheat. And then uh, order wheat production and assign a farmer. So we're doing that and we're assigning a farmer. Okay, done. Build a wheat granary and build a windmill. And assign a miller and produce bread. Wouldn't we need a baker for that? I, I, unless we just sell flour and people make it at their house and cook it on the, uh, the hearth there. Okay, well let's do that then. So it was a... What was it? A wheat granary? I believe so. We're growing wheat. That would make sense, huh? Let's build the storage next door. Now, I'm curious to know, can we build like a windmill up here? Might be kind of cool to build up in the hills. Uh, let's see. Cattle ranch, goat ranch, gatherer hut. Oh, must be under production. Ah, there it is. 
Oh, yes. Big points, then. We can actually build up on the hills. Unfortunately, there's a rock in the way. But I would like to remove these rocks. Can we prioritize that? No. You can't prioritize the removal of rock and stone. Rock and stone. All right. Well, anyway, have more than eight houses in your village. Well, we have two, four, six. Let's build two more. And then we need to have 40 villagers. Right now, we're at a total of 23. And we also need to make bread. So that's going to be from the miller, I suppose. So, let, yeah, let's lay out some of the houses now. And we're going to get ready for winter. So luckily, we already have our firewood cutter ready. Let's build maybe two more houses here. And then we'll build a, a well nearby, since we weren't able to build one on this side. I think there would be a nice option in this game for the ability to copy and paste a home. Like, you click on a building, and then if you just want to copy and paste it, that'd be cool. I can hold shift to build another building, but it seems to revert it back to whatever direction it was facing the first time, so you'll still have to rotate each time. Love the details of the venting on the buildings here. Seeing some of those beautiful... Uh, Wait, I need to see. Does the smoke go in the same direction? White smoke coming out of the chimneys. Accurate for firewood. And it looks like it's going the same way from these homes. And it is coming out of an appropriate area. These ones must vent through the roof somehow. Interesting. The homes that don't have chimneys are actually warmer or more fuel efficient. I guess they're trying to keep the heat in. But of course you want smoke out. So, huh. Interesting. Right, let's speed things up here. Alright, so the granary needs to be built next. And homes also are being constructed. Oh, we should build a well. Now, they said to have eight homes. Is eight homes enough for 40 people? I guess we'll just play by the rules and try to figure out what they mean. Ah, yes. Fishing hut shipyard. That's what we want. Trade dock. Excellent. So we can build... Oh, wait. Are more things... Okay, there's a war dock under... Military and under sea. Port used for military operations. Port used for military operations. Okay. So the military tab essentially just has a training camp where I would assume all the people who can be trained at the training camp can then go to the war dock. I assume we can also be attacked too because they did give us a defensive bonus. So that must have something to do with what we've built defensive-wise under decorations, although it's just the palisades, and that just seems kind of weird to build. Uh, I'm going to have to get, the, get used to how we're going to build defenses here, because this is going to be the type of game where if we need to defend, we're going to want to make a very tight-knit settlement and try to keep everybody, even the farm fields, I would argue, inside the uh, walls and whatnot. The reasoning for that is the last thing you'd want to do is either A, lose a crop due to somebody stabbing it, you ever play those games before where, like, farm fields can be destroyed by an attacking army or, like, a trebuchet, like, throwing a trebuchet or a catapult, like, you know, a stone in the middle of a field and the field is damaged and then you don't... Like, even though it destroyed 30 carrots, it's like, oh, well, we were growing a thousand, but, yeah, so now the whole thing's destroyed. You know what I mean? Like, all these new different games like this are really getting me to think differently about this, so uh, I, I would rather just have everything defended if we can't build towers. And newcomers are coming to the village! All right. So that's going to be how we get more population, then, is through immigration. People are learning of our settlement, and then they're going to want to move in and stay. Although they'll need food, too, but that's fine, because then we can ask them to start farming. Fame is earned by doing this, but it might cause new events. All right. So there could be turmoil for having outsiders in, but they are Raptorians, so we must invite them. And, of course, more homes needed. All right, yeah. Well, that's okay. Everybody can work construction. Uh, let's keep these numbers maybe half and half as best we can. We'll go with six and seven there. That's fine. That's fine. We'll just try to keep a little work-life balance, you know? All right, let's build another house. Another house. So this is my first city. I feel like the longer I play these types of games, too, the better I get at building different types of uh, prettier-looking buildings. Or no, not buildings, but layouts, little neighborhoods. And uh, that can be a little bit easier in like a grid square game. A little harder in a game like this because there's so much freedom for people to walk around. And uh, that's not a problem because we can also build these roads. However, I feel like I would not want to see a road in the center of a town. Because this road here, this seriously looks like just rock that you would see at the bottom of a lake or a body of water. 
Like, it seems like water could be flowing on top of this, like it's a dried up riverbed or something. So the, the roads, it would be nicer if we could actually build them uh, out of something... I don't know. Well, actually, look at that. We can connect them to the houses, so that's nice. All right, well, take back a little bit of what I said. Not bad. So we can connect these buildings. So it might be good to build like a thoroughfare at the very start. Build like a main street and then homes off to the sides and maybe the market in the middle. So in retrospect, I would have probably, you know, some of these buildings we started with, but it would be nice to build, you know, the homes on like a square district on the left, square district on the right, well, marketplace in the middle. And then, of course, that's more tighter knit, so it's a lot easier to defend. And, of course, the shorter a wall is, the less people you need to defend it because, of course... Well, more people means more... Uh, more wall means more gaps in the defenses. Listen to that. Yeah, the sounds at nighttime are very beautiful. Crickets, wind blowing. I can almost maybe perhaps hear some of the water. Nice. All right, the granary should go up. Home should go up. I think this is going to be everything that we need to build. People are at least homeless but busy. We're building those houses for you all now. We got you covered. We got three homes being constructed. Ah, maybe we could put everybody in construction. Let's see if that actually speeds up construction. Now, are builders going to gather materials? Settlement problem in the village. Drive strangers away from the land. Banish strangers from the village. Promise a new home. Oh, we get a second thought if we can't get enough uh, homes for everyone. Hmm. Foreigners set up camps. Well, welcome aboard. Uh, a little bit like Frostpunk. They want us to keep a promise, and that promise is to build homes. So let's go ahead and prioritize that then. Let's let's get our people focused on one project at a time. So what do the builders do? I'm kind of trying to keep an eye on them to see what they'll do. Wow, look at that. That's great. Just like in Ostrieve and Foundation and a few other games, we're actually seeing... Pieces of buildings put in one at a time. Look at that. All the supports. All the foundation in. Rafters and things. Very nice. Yep. Oh, beautiful. And house done. All right, so once the framing is in, the building is basically just complete. So at least that speeds up a little bit of time of building the walls and seeing the roof installed, things like thatch. We don't have to do any of that. So that's good. All right, one home complete. Let's work on the next one. I like how people walk around and are actually carrying torches. That's cool. So many games, people walk around in dark. This is like one of the rare first games I've seen where people are actually carrying around a torch. Let's see where the hell they're going. That's cool. And not everyone's carrying one either, like the kid here. Like a little kid running around without a torch too, so... Probably for the better. Kid will goof around and burn down the town. Okay. Well, I swear we have all the construction materials we need. I'm also going to go back to uh, building timber. And let's try to then make things half and half. I'm really not sure... Who is delivering and who is actually building. Sometimes in these games, builders grab the materials. Sometimes the uh, laborers do it. But we need all these buildings to be done. Alright. Oh, and look at that. Now we have a spot for the windmill. Perfect. I wanted to put it up there. I'm being stubborn. It looked too pretty. Don't be mad. You're not mad. You're having a good time. 
One in the chat, if you have watched this far and you're watching the YouTube premiere. One in the chat, if you're watching from the comment section as well and you're enjoying this, thinking about giving the game a try for its demo. And uh, go ahead and let me know where you're watching from as well. So many people watch in our streams, videos, and um, whatnot. And it's always nice to know where people are watching from, where the most people in this type of content, for example, a Viking city builder may be from. You'd expect a lot of Scandinavians, but a lot of... People from the Philippines and Indonesia. Maybe some people from Mongolia and Denmark watching. Maybe the Dutch, because we're building a windmill. They know that we're building a shrine to their people. Who knows? So you let me know down below. Ah, the boat actually left. Is it because it was destroyed? Where are the, where are the fishermen actually going? Oh, they actually go right out in front of the camp. And there's a little fishing animation, too. Cool. I thought they might go a little closer to shore, but... We're actually out a little further. It's kind of cool. All right, I must say, construction feels a little slow. I'm going to try to keep adding more people to building. So we have seven builders assigned, and yeah, they're all assigned to that job. You can hear... Oh, wait a minute. Active workers, three out of three. But then that means others should be on other construction sites, yeah. So we, that's interesting. Even though this is set to priority and we have seven workers, it truly means that we have two buildings on high priority because we have six workers. So we could actually, we have over six. So what we could do is have two buildings priority because they can only have so many builders at a time. So a building can truly only be built so fast. So if you need something built now, you can't really assign more workers than like three to it. Interesting. Objective ended, new houses. All right, I must have, uh, oh. Well, I don't see any homeless in the city. Well, there is somebody literally sleeping on the floor. No, he's just tired. Wow. That animation, though. <laughs> Alright, so now we need to reach 40 populations. So, what are we at now? 35? Five more people? Not too far off now. So, luckily, we have food coming in, which means silver because of all the uh, fish that are being sold at the market. Uh, perhaps herbs, too, medicine wise. Nice. More sleepy time. I do like how the torches look that we put down manually in comparison or contrast to the uh, building light, too. That seems to be more of a almost a condescent light. And the lighting outside does appear to be more of an orange flame. But there's multiple lights that we can use, too. So we can also put lighting down by the... Uh, I like how we can use money that we make for decorations and that they're built right away. That's kind of cool. We could, for example, put a fire pit kind of along the road if we want it. Something like that. I don't know. It would be cool to be able to see it from the sea. Seems like a waste of materials to do that. All right, winter is coming. Uh, that sounds familiar. I've heard that. I heard that from somewhere before, I'm sure. We got ourselves a, uh, yep, got to get a couple people working there at the uh, plank building to make timber. I guess we'll just call that the beams workshop. The bean, Jack the beams shop. Wow, that's hard as hell to say. That's funny, though. I'll give myself that. Thank you, myself. You're welcome, me. Keep up the good work. All right, so now the top priority is the windmill, which can only have... Actually, it doesn't say, does it? Well, materials are still needing to be delivered. We need two more uh, logs. And let's go ahead and cut down trees again. So since these regrow pretty nicely, we'll just kind of keep asking for everything to be cut down on the west side. Now, eventually stone will run out. So the question is, how the heck do we get stone? Do we get it from a trader? Probably going to be the method. Or is it a passive thing that we get when mining out some of the... Uh, resource fields like for example iron or perhaps uh, limestone or whatever whatever might be used there limestone can be used in brick making you know for uh, actually building with brick okay so the next is basically to have that windmill complete and I feel like we should build some more houses 
Now, I don't see an easy way to look at resources without... Yeah, I want to see how much firewood we have. So I think we have to click on the building. It looks like we can build things. We can make leather and winter clothing, coal, beer, shields, wool, high qual... Wait, what is that? High quality coat. Okay. Iron, light armors, fabric, herb, weapon parts, and heavy armor can all be made there. Or stored there, so that means that they can be made or purchased. We might not be able to make everything. We'll see. All right. Good tool tip there, my friend. Ah, uh, let's see. Ah, yes, perfect. Builders are working quite quickly on the windmill now. And do we have two farmers or just one? put two farmers on that. Apparently somebody got on a sign. That could be my bad. How much do we have in storage? 250 is how much can be stored there. But here goes the windmill. Perfect. On the sign of Miller. Oh, so the Miller actually... Okay, so the windmill is a bakery and windmill in one? Well, I don't see any way they could have done that, but I don't see smoke or anything coming out of there. Or chimney. But whatever. We'll just say it's a windmill attached to a bakery. Okay. Well, one less thing to build in order to make bread. So that's good. And so bread and fish. Bread and fish. We must be in Norway. Oh, and a, an occasional vegetable. Ah, yes. Oh, happiness is going back up. My house has no road. Mad. Oh, really? Okay, so that'll be a factor. So home roads are not just necessarily for... Uh, speed, but people want to be connected via roads. That's actually a thing for their happiness. That's cool. Let's make one to the well. Cool. Alright, so now I can see people needing some other stuff. Now the next goal will probably be to work down uh, some other resources for happiness. Things like beer, since we have wheat now. Perhaps... We'll go hunting and then be able to make hides out of that for clothing. I can see uh... oh, a little bush there. Okay. Oh, the windmill looks cool, though. Yeah, what a settlement. Make your first bread. Okay. There are no active farmers. I'm going to hire four people for that. Let's do two and five. Oh ho, winter is coming. All right, I think we may have missed the season. Maybe that's what happened. Is it on assigns people for the season? But I'm not sure how to tell how to work this. I'll have to learn over time. Ah, there we go. That's how to do it. Ah, we'll shut it off. We're out of season. We'll have to just wait. Not bad. All right, cool. Take the day off. All right, so we'll start uh, growing things in the spring. Interesting. Yeah, quite a bit of potential here for Land of the Vikings, a game where it's a little bit more than just a city builder with the expeditions we can go out on and raids and things we can bring back and materials and whatnot available. It's going to be kind of cool to build ourselves a city and defend it against invasion while also being an invader from distant lands to distant forces. All right, well, that's it for now. Thanks again for subscribing. Hope to see you all soon, and we'll be back for more of Land of the Vikings sometime soon. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.